Today's video is being sponsored by Indium91.com. Be sure to visit the website for all your graphic needs, anything from digital to physical. What's going on everybody? My name is Nate Matthews. Welcome to the channel if you're new. Anyways, I'm going to get right to the point. You probably came to this video because you're not really sure which type of embroidery machine you're looking to get. Well, I have two choices right here and I even have some other ones that I'm going to give you guys some information on to help you make your decision. First machine we got over here is the Brother PE770. This machine is an older machine, but it has an upper hand over this one on a few minor things. And by few, I, I should only say one. <laughs> With that being said, um, this machine right here, the standard size that this machine can do embroidery files in, or, em or embroidery designs in, are 5x7. Now these hoops are larger than 5x7, but the printing area within them is going to be a 5x7. If you guys decide to buy some additional embroidery hoops, such as these ones that I have right over here, um, that's actually how I got two of them instead of just one. It only comes with one. But um, I even got this hoop right here that is even larger. Now keep in mind, the maximum size you can uh, do embroidery designs is this right here. This is larger, but it helps in case you want to, you know, do multiple designs on like a jacket or something. Put it, you know, on the back of a... Uh, a jacket or something you can lay out you know the jacket where you want everything and it's actually repositional if this will focus but you can clip these things on in multiple spots to get the designs in um, another way I guess I should say that this has an upper hand upper hand over this machine is this um, does the embroidery designs a lot faster from what I've experienced it goes super quick all it does is embroidery, so it just gets right down to the point. Um, but the reason I decided to upgrade, actually, I bought this machine, or I, I bought the other, the Brother SE 400, um, like two, three years ago. But I ended up returning it because I couldn't figure out how to use it before the deadline was up to return it and get my money back. Um, so I decided to give it another shot. I then picked up this one, had some issues, and I ended up uh, messing it up on my my mistake. So then I bought this and then I jumped back over to this because I just missed the features. Now this right here is the Brother SE625. Now the reason I feel like this is the overall winner over this machine for me in my experience is because number one, what was bothering me so much that this one didn't have, this machine has a color display so I can actually see my designs. Um, and it has a feature on the side or not which, or yeah it is a feature uh, but you can actually use a usb stick on both of these machines but i feel like if you can use a usb stick and also import the designs into the machine to be able to see what you're you know getting ready to stitch out it would be nice to show it in color so i can see what i'm doing versus this machine over here that it pretty much shows everything in black and white so if you have a lot of colors you know going on at once it uh, pretty much just shows you a block and you can't really see exactly what's going on I feel like you know with me being mobile and things like that I might want to take this to a convention or something like that set it up have some pre-made designs and give people the op you know the option to uh, change the color threads and actually get a preview before I stitch it out so I really think that's why I like this machine um, downside of this machine though this one only um, can do two different sizes this is a 4 by 4 hoop and I believe this is something, I'm not sure, I think this is like 1x2. Again, the, the space is larger than 1x2, but the stitching area is going to be, you know, 1x2 within this hoop. Um, also, this hoop does not come with this Brother SE625. Only this one does. Um, but, again, due to me getting um, some additional hoops, I got them online. By the way, all the, list, all the links and stuff for the stuff I described and pretty much everything you'll need to go ahead and get started on making patches and things will be listed in the description as well as this machine right here in case you guys cannot find it at your local store. Uh, one thing I want to say though, heads up, just in case you're wondering, this is the Brother SE625. You guys might also see another one online called the Brother SE600. Now, this answer is directly from Brother themselves and what they said when somebody asked the difference between this one, the 625 and the 600 and the only difference is the 625 comes with a CD, a disc included in the box right here that comes with 200 um, embroidery designs that you can use. Now me, I make my own design so I don't really care about the CD but it was, it was fairly, it wasn't too hard to get my hands on this but uh, if you guys cannot find one, again, the link is in the description to get the exact same machine minus the disc. All right, now check this out. I just want to show you guys two things that I've made. I've made a, a number of different uh, patches and stuff, but here's one of them right here that I made for a beanie. 
I just actually made the, the patch, cut it out, and then I sewed it by hand. Um, speaking of sewing, let me. That's another reason why I think the 625 gets the upper hand over the uh, the 770. This is an embroidery and sewing machine, and we're gonna show you guys this right here on the box. This shows it is. Let's see. Hopefully, hopefully there's no glare. But yeah, this is a, a sewing and embroidery machine. So I feel like you know, <clears throat> excuse me. I feel like with me being a semi rookie, um, learning how to do these, or I'm, I'm a full on rookie. There ain't no quotes. I'm a full on rookie when it comes to sewing, but I'm I'm kind of getting the hang of how to do embroidery and make my own designs and stitch it out and learn. You know, I'm learning. Um, but I feel like it, it's a nice combo to have a two in one, so I can learn. You know, both at the same time. I might want to make a, you know, customize some shoes, customize some slides or something like that, and then. You know, when you realize what you actually want and actually how to how to use it, then you can go ahead and upgrade. I feel like this was, you know, an upgrade. Again, this is a faster machine. Um, you could do way larger designs, as that's a plus. But it really, really, really bothered me that it did not have a color display. And I didn't really care so much about the sewing machine. But if you can get a two-in-one sewing and embroidery, why not? Another design I made, though, I actually made this one with uh, this machine right here. So this right here was made on the brother PE 770 and the beanie was actually made on the SE 625 if you guys have any questions for me though I just wanted to make this video real quick feel free to drop a comment below thumbs up the video if this helped you guys out in any way and if there's anything else you guys want to know or any questions um, drop a comment and make sure you subscribe because a lot of times I might ask you, you guys uh, questions like directly in the comments other times, I'm going to read your comment and I'm going to make a video. So if you want the answer, subscribe and check back with me.